Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving an exponential logarithmic equation. We've done similar equations before, and this could be considered an easy problem as long as you know the special property. So, I'll be presenting two methods, and let's start with the first one. Caution. The first method is going to be a little bit painful. But no pain, no gain. All right, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to set 4 to the power log x equal to a. From here, we can basically log both sides, base 4. Let's do it. And that's going to give us the value of log x. Because we can move this to the front, and log 4, base 4, is just going to be 1. So we get log x equals log a base 4. So this is a really nice feature uh, or property of logs, but notice we haven't found x yet. So let's go ahead and find x. So my idea here is to find the x in two different ways and kind of set them equal to each other. And that's going to be kind of interesting. We're going to be going through some uh, manipulations. So how do you find x from log x? You can go ahead and use the definition. This is base 10. Go ahead and use that expression as an exponent and the result will be x. So this implies x equals 10 to the power log a base 4. Great, so we found the value of x in terms of a, which is fine, because I want to associate a and another variable. Now we're going to go ahead and set the other one, which is x to the power log 4, equal to b. And then from here, finding x is fairly easy because x is the base. In the other case, it was in the log uh, and it was in the exponent. But this time it's easy. You just need to raise both sides to the power 1 over log 4. That's what you got to do. All right? So if you do that, the log 4 is going to cancel out. You're going to end up with the following. Let's clean it up and rewrite it. x equals b to the power 1 over log 4. And this is base 10 log 4. Okay? Now, we have two different expressions for x, but they mean the same thing. So let's go ahead and set them equal to each other. Let's write b to the power 1 over log 4 equal to 10 to the power, which is the other x value, log a base 4. All right? So how does this help? This kind of looks confusing, doesn't it? So here's what I'm going to use. I'm going to use the change of base on this one. Ch how does change of base work? Change of base works like this. If you have log m base n, you can write it as log m over log n. Here I use base 10, but you can use any base you want. That's change of base. So I can go ahead and write this as log 10 to the power log a over log 4. Here I want to use base 10 because notice that this is also in base 10. So let's rewrite it b to the power 1 over log 4 equals 10 to the power log a over log 4. Do you see what I see? Both of these expressions have the same denominator in their exponents. So, what does that mean? It means we can raise both sides, and I'd like to move this a little bit, I don't know, just a little bit forward so that we can easily take the powers. So I'm going to go ahead and raise both sides to the power log 4. Actually, I should move the equal sign too, but anyways, you get the idea. Log 4. And that does actually miracles because log 4 is going to cancel out. Log 4 is going to cancel out. We're going to come up with a very simple expression, which is nice. B equals 10 to the power log. I know some of you guys are very familiar with logs and you're saying like, why is he doing all of this? It's very painful, I know. But notice that we're using a lot of properties of logs, so hopefully it's, this is a good learning opportunity. Okay, now, what is 10 to the power log a? Okay, I'm going to give it to you. It is a. Because we have this nice property. If you have x to the power log of something, let's call that z, with base x, this is always equal to z. So when these two bases are the same, the answer is z, or that number, th that thing. In this case, it's a. Okay, so what does that mean? It means b equals a, but we also know that a plus b is equal to 32. 
But if B is equal to A, that kind of gives us a nice system, right? It means that 2B is equal to, because A is equal to B, right? B plus B is equal to 32. 2B is equal to 32. Can I say 2B or not 2B? Thank you. B equals 16. Now, what does uh, B equal? B is equal to x to the power log 4, and that's equal to 16. How do you find x from here? Easy. You can just go ahead and raise both sides to the power 1 over log 4, but you still haven't found x. Let's go ahead and simplify this. How do you simplify this? I can go ahead and write this as 4 squared to the power 1 over log 4, and then... I can just go ahead and write 1 over log 4 as log 10 with base 4. Because when you have the reciprocal, you just switch these numbers around. Make sense? And then you can go ahead and switch the 2 and this one because they're both exponents. 4 to the power log 10 base 4 to the power 2. But remember our property. This is 10. The answer is 10 squared, which is equal to 100. Okay. I've taken too long. I know this first method uh, was too painful, but now here comes the second method. Okay, hopefully you'll appreciate that after the first one. That's why I always tell my students, okay, I'm going to show you the more painful method first so I can appreciate the second one better. Okay, now, what am I going to do? Uh, well, here's the property. a to the power log b is equal to b to the power log a. Now, why is this true? And we proved this in another video, but this is true because uh, these expressions are equal because their logs are equal. If you log this, you get log a to the power log b. If you log this, you get log b to the power log a. This becomes log b times log a, and this becomes log a times log b, and they're equal. Therefore, the original expressions are equal, which means we have 4 to the power log x plus 4 to the power log x equals 32, which means 4 to the power log x equals 16, and log x equals 2, and by definition x equals 10 to the power 2, which is 100. All right? Does that make sense? Hopefully it does. So let me recap what we just did. We used the really nice, cool property that a to the power log b is equal to b to the power log a right here and that is perfectly what we have and so they those two things are equal all right it's just a little trick that we use in these kinds of problems and then from there we easily get the answer and this brings us to the end of this video thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed it please let me know don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.